Hey, what's up guys, Blue Devil with Overclock.net. Uh, today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a repair project on the 7900X that was shipped out uh, to get deleted and that deleting video was Facebook Live from Duality92, so you might wanna catch that. Uh, might be able to find it. If I can find it, I will link it in the product des description below. Uh, but when I was assembling this back into the rig and the CPU is still fully functional, uh, the IHS actually popped right out. So I'm gonna do a little bit of repair job. Um, there is a little bit of thermal grizzly still left on there, so I'm gonna leave that as is. Um, you don't need much to make good contact, and I've already verified that the temperatures are pretty good. So uh, what we're basically gonna do today is we are going to re-glue these points here uh, to make sure that the IHS is secure on it. Um, when you sandwich this on with the X29 or even X99, um, it will still stay put, but peace of mind tells me that I want to glue it and make sure it stays put. So that's what we're going to do. So let me flip this over, take the IHS, and uh, what we're going to do is we are going to take a little adhesive. Um, I just have this super glue fix all adhesive here so and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh um basically take the super glue with a toothpick and kind of put a little amount on because i don't want to put too much on and we're just basically going to mimic that all the way around just so it stays put. You can see right here when it was put back together, not enough adhesive was used, so I'll be a little liberal on that. Make sure it's spread out. And that's it. All so I do is take this and make sure. There we are. Give it a little wiggle. Push down a little bit, another little wiggle, and then that's it. So what I'm basically gonna do is now I'm just going to sandwich this back in. And let the chipset uh, retention brackets do its magic on sealing that. Uh, next, I'm going to be putting this into my test bench, but that's for another video. Uh, the test bench is going to be for overclock.net. I bought it out of my own money, which is the Lian Lee T70. So it's PC T70, actually. So it's one of the newer test benches. I'm really excited to get this board on it and uh, hopefully get some water cooling on it. So um, trying to get some sponsorship for that, but I'll keep you guys posted. Later.